Well, hey, everyone. Time for Geocache Talk. Whether you're at work, in the car, wherever you are, we hope you enjoy this show about the great sport of geocaching. If you're watching on YouTube Live, please join us in the chat room and participate with others as they watch the show. The link is in the chat room. The, the, the link is in the chat room. Go to the <laughs> chat room and the link's in the chat room. No, the link to the chat room is on geocachetalk.com. Uh, the front page, there's a link right there. Just click on it and open up another window, and you can chat along with everyone who's already in there. Thank you so much, everybody, for being in the chat room. Uh, if you have questions tonight, I'm going to try to watch as much as I can. Derek's going to watch more than me, so uh, we'll try to – We'll try to get to your questions tonight. Uh, if you're listening later on some other place, uh, give us a like, subscribe on your favorite podcasting app, or if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe there. And that way you can get all the weekly geocache talk goodness. Big thanks to the travel bugs for the music and our featured patrons, Super Nate, the Twonky, Burnt Turtles, Padib, Kazelli, Dragon and Visiting Vet Tech, Gunter Hunters, Acme Wildcashers, P0001, and our new patrons, Symbols123, Chaos in Motion, and Susan and I found a Chaos in Motion cache this morning in Victoria. We drove all the way from Victoria, Texas. I'll tell you later, Derek, how far that is. It's a long <laughs> way. Right. Uh, but we found a Chaos in Motion it was at the hotel we were at. How cool is that? So I sent her a link or I sent a picture of it and hopefully made her day. Uh, cash the line. Uh, o zero Ridland kids, zero O Florida TB Hunter, the caching dead, New York, Nicole, Udak, the dig family, JB Opto, uh, New York jets fan. It's NYJ fan keeper of the cash flow. Uh, Geovet91 and Nit Gritsky. How about that one? <laughs> Nitty, <laughs> Nitty, Nitty, Nitty Gritsky. Nitty She's Gritsky. Into That's awesome. Knitting from the Nitty and Ski Ball for the Ski. Nitty Gritsky. I love it. Okay. I didn't know if she was from the South and like Grits too. So that kind right. of. Right. Or was she a Wayne Gretzky fan? I wasn't quite right, sure that either. Right. So. <laughs> if you'd like to become a patron, head on over to patreon.com forward slash geocache talk for retail, more details. Patrons get the new blackout coin, and Derek's got the oh, there, there it is. It is. The blackout coin. Excellent. Thank you, sir. No problem. And, and other geocaching items during the year, as well as bonus content. And invites to special events only for patrons. We've got a patron dinner coming up at Geo Woodstock. So we're pretty fired up about that. Um, Derek, his whole family will be yeah, there. That's yeah, whole awesome. family, all of us there. It's going to be awesome. We've got uh, – I gave a reservation for over 60 people. So uh, they're cool with it. They're like, we can do 100 if you want. And I was like, all right, we'll do 100. No, I <laughs> – <that's, laughs> So over 60 folks. So well, you're, we're, you're sharing that with Josh too. So we don't know how many yes. Josh is going to have in there too. So yeah, he's, I get, I needed preliminary numbers from Joshua. Uh, Joshua geocaching vloggers. Patrons are joining us. Um, Burns fire is uh, going to be there from the chat room. Oh, cool. Excellent. Yes. Uh, looking forward to it. We've got prizes and we've got a bunch of giveaways to do that night. And uh, we got some good food, and we'll probably be worn out from Jew Woodstock, but that's okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're just we're gonna keep on trucking, and then we've got uh, Midnight Madness. Midnight Madness that. Yeah, at eight p.m. So we're just gonna go from one one event to another. So it's gonna be great. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, support level start. Uh, go to patreon.com forward slash geocache talk for more details. Is what I mentioned earlier. Uh, support level start at as little as bison tube level, which is three dollars a month. Let me welcome my special co-host for the night, Derek Baker. Thank you. Of Behind the Cash. Yes. <laughs> we'll get into we're, Behind the Cash in a little bit too. Go ahead. What are you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say, yeah, we're always looking for the good story and got some good stories tonight and maybe some good uh teaching teaching points and maybe how to set up these different caches. Yeah, I think so. I think you and I got a good Good, uh, good thing planned without without Jesse. So we can, we can do it. 
No, Jesse is – what did he send me a note? He said, just to, for everybody to know, uh, I sent him a note. I said – because he, he wasn't sure if he was going to be able to to make it on the right. show because I wanted to give him the opportunity to pop on. He wasn't going to host or anything, but he was just going to pop on if he could. He goes, it's going to be still be on the road, it looks like, between Wyoming and Colorado, so not have good enough service uh, to jump on. But that's okay. We, we planned yeah. – Somebody was asking ahead. if it's going to be in the chat room, so yeah, it doesn't look like it. So there's your answer on that one. Yep, probably not. Thank you, sir, for that one. Um, so yeah, so you know we have Derek on. I'm looks excited about this. So let's jump right into show number 145 for April 20th as we discuss gadget cash creation. And yes, you can do this, right, Derek? Oh yeah, very. <laughs> Just about anybody can because there's you can create them, but do you hide them? That's the other question. But yeah, you can sure. pretty much create them, and we'll show you some simple ways to that you can create a really interesting gadget cache. Yeah, we're gonna do quite a few tonight, uh, or talk about several. Um, right. Derek's even got show and tell tonight, so he's gonna show <laughs> us some cool stuff. Uh, but we we both talked a little bit before we did the show. We were kind of like, you know, as we were kind of going through them. We, we both kind of said, okay, we are going to get – I don't want to scare anybody off. We're going to get a little more complex later in the show. We're going to kind of ramp up to that. So if there's a point of our discussion where you're like, okay, that's it. I'm not going any further with gadget caches. That's okay. Don't worry. Do the first couple that we suggest uh, because I think they're – we're going to start very simple – we're not even going to get to the complex stuff. We're not going to get into the WV Tim area. Or even the smart caches. <laughs> right. We're not getting into all that. Not, not that complex. No. But we are going to kind of – we'll dip our toe into the, the little more complex later. But Derek and I are going to start with some real simple caches that I think anybody could do. And really that's a, for almost another show, Derek, is to to explain that people need to make – gadget caches but that's really yeah. kind of for another show but it let's really just is. say suffice it for tonight to say you need to put out number one you got to put caches out right i mean if you don't have 200 hides by now and you've been doing it for a while we need to talk because you need to start putting caches out if you've never put any out we gotta we really need to talk but yeah um so let's start with uh, the first one I wanted to mention is a cache that is uh, it gets it has a lot of favorite points and I need to I need to grab in fact while we're talking about it I'll try to grab the actual GC code so people okay. can play along it's called Slider um, and it is out the one that I'm thinking of is there's it's out in um, the Oregon area. Um, I'm going to grab that, but while I'm grabbing it, I'll kind of explain it because there's not. It's it's one of those again that's not. Uh, it's not too difficult. It's it's not something. Okay, so here's the GC code, so people can play along at home. Oh, I got my handy little dandy, handy <laughs> dandy cheat sheet right here. Right here. All right. So you it's didn't send me, you, you didn't send me one of those. I know I need to. <laughs> well, you might. You never know where this might show up. Since you're coming to you, which you may see this. Yeah. Uh, GC two water. No water involved, but W five virtual six. It's not a water virtual, but those are the initials. GC two W five V six. And it's called Slider. It's got 1,030 favorite points. Yeah, How about that's that? Just, for... that's, that's just insane. How many times has it been found? Oh, gosh. Hang on. I'll tell you. Uh, 2,810 times. Yeah, that's a pretty good ratio of finds to favorite points. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? That is great. Uh, um, now, he has... He has fixed it several times, so I don't know. That's for another show as well. Well, it's a gadget cache. You have to. It's a gadget cache, <laughs> <laughs> right? But it's a very simple gadget cache. So 
what it is, if you go look at it, is a PVC pipe. At the bottom of the PVC pipe, there is a little spring, and it's got, if you ever played pinball, yeah. some, of you, some of the people that are young have never heard of pinball. No, that's true. Google pinball if you've never heard of pinball before, if you're, if you're too young <laughs> for that. But it's got that kind of mechanism. It's very simple. It's easy to buy. Easy, uh, easy to create. It basically, just stick it on a fence or something. Right. And you just take a bison tube, typically a bison tube, and you just drop it in at the bottom. You got to obviously test it, make sure it works right. Yeah. But the idea is it's got a little, a little uh, lever at the bottom. You push down on the lever, release, and it's got enough of a spring action. That's where you got to get it right. And right. It pops. It pops it out. That is it. <laughs> well, that's kind of like how um, Freedom Go Boom down in Savannah is at the, at the Ranger Dock with his cannon. It's it's basically the same concept. It's a uh, pinball plunger. Oh, okay. It, it used to yeah. be originally when it used to be where you actually like the West Virginia town where you had to use your car battery. Right. But about two hundred dollars worth of motors later, it turned into this one. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> because sometimes, well, yeah, and that's something tonight we we really. I don't think we're going to get into any that require anything of that nature. No, I don't think so. Not, not we, that aspect of it. Right. Um, maybe a nine volt battery. I mean, we're yeah, kind of maybe, maybe, but we're really going to keep it to the items that you can make. And I think that's important because um, we want people to make, because the ones, uh, some of them I'm going to mention that I've done, if I could do them, anybody could do them. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, W. I know WV Tim says that, right? But then he go, then he goes into a lot of detail. I was like, Tim, I can't make those, dude. Well, yeah, there's no way. His, the smart caches that that he's doing now, and he's got a little thing that goes around the shape of West Virginia and buzz. Anybody can do this. No, not <laughs> no, anybody no. can do that. No, I appreciate I can make his the box. <laughs> right <laughs> send me the send me the other part of it and i'll put it in there but yeah you can send me yeah. the box <laughs> right right uh okay so one more uh or a couple more that i've done and we're going to talk about some that you've done and okay and some that you've seen so that's kind of right. this one i know you've probably seen and we'll, well i'll let you comment on it but this is one i uh it was one of mine called safari adventure um the cash I, I there's no reason to give the gc code there isn't anything on the gc code so i'm just gonna kind of explain okay. it's based on a wv tim ammo can um and he he did a he did uh and i'll find the i'll tell i'll find the video on this one you've seen okay. it it's the one where he says all you need to do is is to put a lock on a on an ammo can, and then he hid little animals around near the cache, and that's what I did. I right. took little bath toys, basically. Uh, I had a little giraffe and a little bear. You get the idea, and right. then I basically right. I hid five of them. And it was, I, I measured it so people would know you don't have to, because it, it was in a woody area. So I didn't want people to trudge off for, you know, a quarter of a mile or something. I mean, they're, right. they're really close. They're within, I forget what the, the, from, from, cause you can find the ammo can. That's fine, but it's locked. Right. The, the lock on it though is a five letter lock and you can buy these. I've seen them at. Oh, yeah. Lowe's, Lowe's or Home Depot. Very simple. Ace, uh, wherever. Yeah. Five letters. And you just, um, you can, usually they come with the, you can change them out so you can get the right letters and the right, based on your, you usually want to get the, uh, you could do the, you could do it in reverse order, I guess, but. Right. I found the bath toys and then try to figure out how to get the lock to, <laughs> to match up. Um. It is a little tricky because um, you can get you know, we and Susan and I did one of these down in Kerrville too, but um, we got all five letters and then it was just a matter of sort of brute forcing the five right uh, at that point because 
it, it's it's not too bad because a lot of the a lot of those um, those those uh, mechanisms don't right. have they're not the letter isn't on all five right yeah exactly so, so people don't it's not like a zero through nine which you're like well you're not gonna brute force five numbers right so they're you basically can just kind of hunt for a B and a B might be on two of them, but they're not going to be on all five. So anyway, right. Very simple, but it's, it's fun uh, because you got to hunt for these little, these little toys. And right. as I was telling you before the show, it's like in winter, but <laughs> easier. I had friends go out. There was a time when I went out there in the summer with a friend and I couldn't find these five things. Right. Well, so, and I even put them out there. So it took me a while to find all these. So it was a real hunt. <laughs> so anyway, but that's, that's Plus a cool gadget. Toys can go missing. And then you got to find another one that starts with that letter or whatever. You yeah. Do for it. And I was lucky though. I, I really, they, they stayed for a long time. Now I kind of, uh, Velcro or, um, zip tied them to okay. branch to branches. And so, you know, but again, very, very simple. And then another one I want to mention, then we'll get into some other ones, but is one I called it Gumby's friend who is pokey. That's right. We're just, we're, we're if you're young, very don't, nostalgic, you, you, they're not going to get it. <laughs> they're not going to get it. They never, they never heard of Gumby. Can we bring out uh, a regular tape player too? Yeah, absolutely. Buddy. Eight track. Let's find eight an eight track. track. <laughs> Make a cash out of it. Uh, it's not about it. Hey, and to be a gadget. Oh, there you go. We'll make it a gadget. Yep. So, for, but again, this one is again dirt simple, and that is Gumby's friend, which is Pokey. And so the idea is, and there's it's a birdhouse, and it's locked. Well, not really locked. It's got a mechanism. It's got a what would you call these, Derek? They're like a trailer hitch. No, no. Or it's like a. It's like, like a like gate. The fence la gate latch. Yeah, there you go. She, she, yeah, Derek like showed one me. of these. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the gate latch like this, and yep, or it'd be like this, and you push it up, or how yeah, you do it. And that's all it was. It was just like you're showing it right there. And that when you you tried, and I left the um, I left the uh, birdhouse perch where you could pull the perch out. That was your tool, and then there was. Not a lot. There's about five different holes in the thing. Right. I didn't, I didn't really give too much explanation because I wanted people, because otherwise it's simple. If I told people, take the perch out and push in all five holes, and one of them is going to flip the lit, flip the switch, right. the latch. So I didn't explain all that. So that kind of hopefully made it a little more challenging. Right. And um, that was pretty simple. Uh, now, the reason that one got, if you go to a birdhouse, you need to cover that hole so that some bird doesn't get in there. Yeah. I usually paint uh, mine on there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But uh, I'd covered mine with, with wood, but right. it was a very, very uh, small and very, um, it wasn't, it was, it was a very thin piece of wood. And when I went back to the cache, um, a mouse had figured out how to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a picture of the cash with the mouse. Somebody took a picture for me and goes, uh, I think your cash needs some maintenance. Yeah. I, like, I had wasps oh. get into one of mine recently, Ooh. but, uh, so it was kind of crazy that, uh, um, the mouse got in there, but anyway, it was still a very simple, very simple cash. So and some of those uh, are like the best ones. I mean, it's like, Duh, why didn't I think of this? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm yeah. with you. And that's kind of the ones uh, that we're going to probably get into a few tonight. Yeah. Um, tell people a little bit about and, and how you would create, because I think pe some people have seen them. I don't think not everybody's seen, though, the water pipe cache. So oh, kind of okay. explain to people how you would do these. Do, okay, do so a simple water pipe cache where you fill the object is where you actually fill it up and the, the container where the log actually reveals itself. Simple PVC pipe. You can find whatever size you want to use pretty much. I've done one that was actually a three inch pipe and it floated oh, up wow. a big, a big thing. 
and they had luckily had a jug of uh like a water jug close by and there was a little stream or culvert or something right there and you just fill it up and walk back and forth and fill it up right in this one usually they'll take if you, a lot of them can do it with one person because it's their wool generally and mm -hmm. the best way is actually have a hole at the bottom of it so right. the water actually drains so if it does rain it doesn't fill up and somebody just walks up and grabs it right. i've done one where it took like six people to actually um to get the actual container oh, because that's cool because everybody had to hold it and <laughs> right and it was a, a large pipe so you have one person running back and forth getting water <laughs> and and everybody else is sitting there holding it right so it was it was almost like a flute trying to sit there holding like a flute right kind of thing, all these different people <laughs> so that's i mean that... that's the basic real basic water pipe cache and those yeah. are great yeah um you need to test it because yep. a, co a couple things about gadget caches something we'll we'll talk about tonight is you got to think about every way that somebody might not do it correctly and so right. and then when you is, put it out you'll find the way that you didn't find out think of <laughs> right exactly <laughs> um make sure it's secure to whatever yep. you're putting it at because otherwise people will just rip it off of the the tree or something and turn it over you right. don't really want that you want to make it fairly secure um i've seen where people put you need to make sure you can put the container inside either direction right because people might put it in the wrong way. Yeah. Um, I've seen where, um, for testing purposes, I know W. Tim talks about how um, he's got it so that you can put a, a magnet down it and it'll grab it and pull it up if need be. Right. If there's a, a problem. Yeah, if you're doing like one of the fishing ones. Yeah, that one's too. I've done that before. Right. Had one called Ant Man, which was. Uh, uh, when I, I did a superhero and a super villain one, and my Ant Man was a PVC pipe, right? In, in a it was near a tree. I didn't make the hole. The hole was there. <laughs> I saw the hole one day, and I go, I put a cash. Yeah, because that tree is not doing very well, and so it was there was room for it. And of course, one day I came back because somebody said, "Hey, I think your cash is gone." I'm like, "Really?" I went back. The tree's gone. All of this goes like, dang it, because the tree was, <laughs> the tree was dying, you know, right. and so that it had gapped, and so I'd put my PVC pipe right there, and right. but, pff, oh well, but. See, so what anyway. I ended up using when I actually did, um, I used did one of these water pipe ones for one of my a multi that I did, and I actually used a wooden dowel that would oh, actually okay. float up easier because originally I tried with a ping pong ball, and that just it just didn't work as well. So I right. just ended up using a water uh, easy dowel and I could just easily cut it and replace it and keep it going all the time. So that was, that's what I ended up using there right. on one of those. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah. Houston, Texas, Dave in the chat room, I should have mentioned, uh, we found one of his caches. So we found a chaos in motion cache. Okay. And we found one of Houston, Texas, Dave's caches. So, just kind of wrapping that up. I was going back to the to the chat room to, to take take a quick look, but uh, yeah, we went on a big run uh, county wise, uh, Texas counties this weekend, and uh, uh, Susan and I, I think we found twenty five or twenty six. I haven't determined. I have to go back and look, but uh, we're almost at about halfway. That's good. That's good. <laughs> hundred hundred and I forget how many to get. Two fifty four is the total. So, but that's for another show right uh, <laughs> all right um so tell people also about this one because I, I like this idea and i could i consider it a gadget cache tell people how they can make a tape measure okay tape measure cache now it's super super simple i mean it almost doesn't get any simpler than this what you're you're not actually building anything really you buy a tape measure you know how it goes in and out attach a bison tube to it and you might want to create like a little bit of a loop with some other string and the but thing it, about tape it, measure is that a lot of them have some type it, of hole right hole <laughs> right yeah exactly some kind of if they're right, designed so, to have that hole there you're right, like so perfect. i'm actually gonna attach <laughs> this one real quick bison can attach, fits perfectly on there it, it does and then you create another little loop on there 
You can hide yep. it 10, 15 feet up in a tree. And of course, yeah, that's the most, cool trick. Of course, where geocaches look for for caches, they look for them on the ground. Right. I spent 45 minutes looking for one of these one day. <laughs> Way to go. And man. then I put, found it. And I was like, oh, are you kidding me? But see, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it just lowers it down. They pull it down. And the funny part is that their stick or whatever they're using yeah. uh, loosens. It goes right back up. And then yep. they got to do it again. And then hopefully that it doesn't slip out of their hand when they actually have it in the hand and they're trying right. to sign the log and it goes back up. Yeah. So that's what you got to figure out. So the hard part on that one, you'd have to figure out how to make sure the the loop that they're actually hooking with the stick or their tot, whatever they're using, doesn't right. lose. They don't lose it that way. There's a gadget cache. Simple. Um, cool, though. Anybody can do it and really cool. And they, these I've seen these and they get quite a bit of favorite points. Yeah. And it's just super, super simple. Now, the one you found fairly recently, do you remember if it had something out at the site or were you kind of hinted that you should bring a tot and you weren't sure what to bring or they, you, you can use, you can retrieve it with um, a tool around or a branch or something like it was. Yeah. They just okay. said the tools are provided uh, limbs or whatever right. that was there. So it was kind of out in a wooded area in a, in a park. So right. Here. So you could kind of plan a, a couple different ways. If you do one like that, you could either tell people ahead of time, right. That you need to bring something but you know, you want to give it away, but, um, or you could provide something nearby. You could leave, um, some kind of pole, right. Possibly of some type nearby or some way for people to, you can either leave a tot there or you could figure something out and tell right. people. Yeah. So. And this was when I was searching for this stupid thing. Um, <laughs> and at the time I was getting rather frustrated, especially after I found yeah. it. But I, there was like this pipe in this one area, and I'm like, okay, he's, I, it had a cap that came off. Like, okay, is it in here? So I'm like running string right. down there, or magnets and stuff like that, <laughs> trying to retrieve different things. And yep. I cleaned out their pipe for them. Right. And then, then finally, I was like, we're about to give up. And my wife was sitting there looking around, and, she, and I think she got did one of those frustration things. She goes, huh, and she saw it. <laughs> it's like, right. are you kidding me? Oh. So then we're like, okay, go get let's find a stick. It was about it was good ten feet up there. And then we found a long enough stick or it to retrieve it and pulled it down. And of course the kids are going, it took us how long to do this? <laughs> so, but it was, yep. it was great fun and I've never forget it. And super simple, easy cash and any gadget and it'd be just one that pretty much anybody can do. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> um, the next one though, I think can also be done by people, but I think it takes a, a little bit of, a little bit of planning, but I like the, I've, I've, I've never found one like this, but right. I love this idea of the doorbell cache. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. kind of, kind of explain to people how make, you can make, obviously any of the ones that Derek and I are talking about tonight, you can go, you can bust it all out and make it into the most complex thing you've ever seen. Oh yeah. We yeah. didn't want to do that. Um, so like Udak was mentioning, she's like, so far so good. It's like, yep, we're, we got we got her, we got her at least on board. We can make these. Right, it's all we're all good so far on this one. Well, but Jinxer said she could, uh, she can uh, do the uh, tape measure cash. Okay, cool. So yeah, you do have to get up in the tree and secure the silly thing, but <laughs> that's yeah. for, but that's don't, don't we all have twelve foot ladders in our car? Oh, of course, right. Yeah. I mean, you're a geocacher, right? You're going to care. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, anyway. All right. So tell people about the doorbell cache and how you could create a fairly simple version okay. of a door, doorbell cache. Fairly simple. One, you could probably go buy, if you wanted to use a birdhouse for one of them, you can go buy a birdhouse at Lowe's. And so you can actually house the actual container and actually where the doorbell actually is going to ring. Right. But you buy one of those wireless doorbells and you hide, say, in an ammo can or something else somewhere else, the actual transmitter for the doorbell. So you hit, go you open up that one, you hit the doorbell, or you have it reversed, birdhouse door right. ammo can. And that actually sends you to where the actual ringer is actually going off. So you find yeah. the doorbell, you hit it, and it could be 100 feet off from your original cords, 
and you'll just hear the doorbell as long as you keep putting new batteries in it. Otherwise, yeah. it's not gonna, that's, that's the only drawback of that one. Yeah. Um, I did well, do one similar to that one one time mm -hmm. on a gadget, and actually it was a hardwired from a doorbell to where it was actually it was that's a stage cool. of a multi to where the buzzer was, and they'd get the container, that part, and then sends them to another location. Right. To get that so that one's very fairly simple i saw one of those long time ago i think there used to be one in seattle or something like that and they yes i think it was almost like a cash of the week or cash of the month or something like yeah. that yeah we talked about it long time ago but that's it's another a, simple uh, gadget in a wall yeah right the trick with that though though and you i'm sure garrick would agree the, the trick with that one is you need to and it, you can't sort of plan for everything but you hope people will remember a, <laughs> a lot battery. of times you yeah put <laughs> yeah put it all back but also the batteries yeah if you could have people leave batteries out there and tell people put the batteries in the thing when you're done and you when you're done take right. all the batteries out but um but you wouldn't be able to do that with the actual doorbell receiver itself no that part you're not yeah but those should last because it's only going off temporarily. So you probably could, would you agree? You could probably um, not have to replace those batteries. Right. You shouldn't have to. It just depends on your weather. I mean, if you're up yeah. in Canada and all that, you're going to have to replace those batteries at least once a month, probably. Just yeah. Or, or just make sure it's in as dry. Right. Obviously it's got to be in a dry, you got to secure. Right. And you have to be able to that. make it, you know, container where it's housed, you can't make sure that it's not, it can't be soundproof. Otherwise you, once again, you're. Yeah, you can't hear it. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. All right. That's a little more complex. So we're going to go yeah, back yeah. to, we're going to go, we're, we're not going to, we don't want to stray too far in that direction. We're going to no, go back no. to a little, we're, we're going to go back to simple again. Okay. See how we're kind of going. We're going to sort of dip our toe in the yep. advanced. And we're coming back to the simple. So this next one is one that's in town. Um, and a friend of mine set it up. TP Conductor set this one up. It was for it was sort of a tribute for Susan and I. And it's a great idea because uh, again, anyone could do this. And we've got a link in the show notes to how you can purchase um, what you need for this. <clears throat> it's on geocaching.com's website. Okay. It's a it's a combo lock geocache. And what what uh, Randall did was he set up, he has a, has a, uh, a birdhouse. It has a lock on it, but the only reason he locks it is so the muggles don't mess with it. The lock is the combo to the lock is provided in the cache geocache, uh, uh, description. So you get there, you read the description, you open the cache up, you open the birdhouse up inside the birdhouse on the back wall of the birdhouse right he has a little written hey you know thanks for finding this cash and he gives a little paragraph of stuff but within that if you look at it closely there are numbers okay within that and so you're like oh i didn't see because you don't see it at first but then eventually you're like oh i see numbers right the number the numbers are the combo to this, it's a preform, um, and the preform has a lock on it. Yes, it, yes. It's a, it's a very simple, well, I think it's a four-digit lock. Um, here, I'll show it real quick. On yeah, the, and they got those on. You can get them at um, the geocaching shop now. Yeah, let me do a quick, quick screen share, and it will show people, because that's why this is the beauty of the – of. Uh, YouTube as we can show it. So, all right. So there's, there it is. You can buy them again. This is on geocaching's shop. There is this pre it's uh, they're called preforms or uh, right. soda, soda, soda bottles. Um, there's the top to it and, it, and it's got a little, it's lock. it's got a lock and, um, it's worth showing right now. Normal position, you can see where it, uh, you can change the code on them. Uh, there it is. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, there's, you know, it's, uh, it's a very simple, <coughs> it's uh, what they call 
um, a soda preform. Right. I think that's the best way to explain it. But um, but it's great. These are these these are this is such a cool idea, and it's a very very simple, but yet kind of a gadget. So go get you one of these because it's a lot of fun. Because that's where the so it, there was nothing else in the birdhouse. This is it. Right. Is this, is this and and the little clues are on a back the back wall of the of the birdhouse, and then this is the container. And that's that's just really cool. I mean, just using the numbers to figure it out. Yeah, kind of I mean, kind of neat. One, I mean, West Virginia Tim's definition of a gadget cache is that you have to do something to gain access to the log. Right. The I mean, that's just as basic as it can get. Um, so. I love it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, speaking of WV Tim, okay, let's talk about this next one. Uh, there's a and some of these. I'll I'll go grab the YouTube videos for them in case you want to check them out more. Uh, that way, because we're just explaining them, but obviously a YouTube video will give you all the information. But he did one, and I'm glad you brought this one up when we were kind of preparing for the show. And that is the Lego Birdhouse. Yep, Lego so Birdhouse. So tell people how that work. How does okay. that work? Well, I think probably the hardest part of this whole cache would actually be building the birdhouse itself and then because you well you have to do it with legos and make sure that you're glued them all together right um and then the way this actually works you have the legos already the birdhouse built the usual where the house containers actually house is underneath i mean probably the easiest would be get another birdhouse and build a legos around it yeah and do it that way um, but the way to access the lock is that there are certain colors of the legos that are to those numbers so right. that's going to be the pro actually that's probably going to be your hardest part because you got to have zero to nine of your numbers of the legos to get into that lock so right. you go through there and you count your legos and all that the problem that i've seen with a couple of these is that those legos start fading over time Ooh, and some of the colors like uh, start you become a little bit harder to see especially like on your tans and and yeah pinks and stuff like that they'll start if it's out in the sun quite a bit you'll start they'll start fading and they'll so that's the problem there you, that i've seen you probably want to keep your colors to the red blue yellows as far as for the and then have people count those right. or, something, or, or right. white or something right Make or one the, of that a color or even sometimes the the per, the depending on the packs that you get sometimes yeah. the oranges may not be all match to over oh, so they, yeah you, if you're actually using lego then you use whatever the other yeah. brand is or off brand sure. and they sometimes those oranges don't the dye lots don't match so that can be tricky too yeah yep you want to make sure that um you kind of feel and i mean it's still i think with any of these derek i think that the the thing is that you want to you want to build them and you assume, I mean, you want to build them. So you want to build them well enough right? that they last, but you kind of don't, I, I don't want people to not do them because they feel they won't last. Right. I mean, not every cash. Well, for the most part, very few caches will last more than, uh, you know, well, a couple of years maybe is right. probably good. So, I mean, Go back and you can replace parts or you can do something a little bit different. But the joy of finding some of these, I think, is worth the effort. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay. So, next one, we're kind of rolling through these and you yep. need to stop me if there's any questions chat room wise. So, yeah, I answered uh, one. Somebody asked earlier what the train was on the tape measure and it was oh, a, cool. a D3 uh, train T1 one and, and a half. T T1 right. one and a half. So yeah, it, it, you would think it would be higher because it was up in the tree, but you actually don't have to climb the tree. So you, right. it, was low, it was flat and you could walk around. Cool. Um, difficulty making it a three because you actually have to look up. Right. Oh, Bounce Bounce has something too. You can do the classic grays and new gray Legos. Yep. Yep. So you could do them a little, you could do, and you can make it again. Right. Uh, you can make these as difficult or as easy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> as you, you want to go. Um uh, 
I know uh, you 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 and I were talking about before. Bounce Bounce has has done some pretty complex uh, stuff. Yeah, he he mentions like he, he, we we're talking about these are going to be easy. He's like, well, I kind of do complex. <laughs> yeah, I know he does. Well, they're, but you they're, know, they're sometimes... awesome. They're really great, and I've been working yeah. with them on some smart cash stuff too. So that's that. Those are yeah. fun. Yeah, I mean, there is definitely a place for the bounce bounce, the WB Tims, and the you know, and right. the Goblin Dust. And then there's, and I love those. I mean, I, my mind gets blown watching some of those, but um, we also want to try to, we got to bring in some people right. to do this. And this is really why this show is, I think is very important is because we, we need people to make different kinds. We want people right. to make, I mean, it, once you get going and you feel like, Eh, I'm ready to move on to something bigger. That's fine. Right. But let's let's get away from all the LPCs. The, the and, same old thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's a place there, for those. There, there is a place for those. I agree. Uh, so, and there yeah. there is a good place, but there's a way that you might be able to do an LPC. Uh-huh. Or or even a um I know we're going to show one here in a little bit of yep. actually that you you can make them more interesting, I think. And that's what I, I agree. That's what we, I, cause I know I'm stumbling here, but it's like, I no, like no. finding the high favorite point ones, but because yeah. it's like when you're playing golf, there's always that one shot that brings you back for another, another round. You may have yeah. 80 other shots that have been horrible, but you got that one shot. That's <laughs> one great. Shot, right. So, and it's true. And it's luckily good. if it's one shot for me, but it will be, <laughs> um, it's good. <laughs> it's that those caches that, that, really bring the smile to your face and it's either location or the actual container or how, how you had to solve it. And that those are want to be able to think outside the box, think outside the ammo can and let's create some different caches. Yeah, that's good. You're, you're speaking my language, man. <laughs> um, all right. So this next one's kind of yours and, I, and I'm going to let you explain shadow box. Okay. So you know what I mean, I, I wrote down the notes. So I'm hoping you remember right. what I'm. Yeah, I, I got the notes here too. <laughs> uh, so, so, so the shadow box, real simple. It almost kind of goes back to one you were talking about before, where you, the safari animals. You could kind of do a shadow box. Go simple. Pick up a shadow box. You mm -hmm. can either build it if you want to get to that way, or you can do just buy it. And you put different things in there that lock up. And you could do this one or two ways. You could either do it with the animals that are in there. Right. Or another way I that I've you. seen is that you use one of the uh, UV lights and you actually have the code on like each animal inside the shadow box written to oh, actually gain cool. the con So you're using the UV light. You're having to use a tot yep. and to be able to do that. In fact, I was just thinking before the show about doing a new series of what's in your tot bag kind of thing. And you, each uh -huh. cache, you have to bring use a different tot to help like people it. to educate people how to use tots and different tots to put in their bags and stuff. Sure. So that was, and that would be another one to do flashlight it, or the UV light. UV lights. Um, cool. Now, now the problem with that is if they're finding it in the daytime, you got to watch your shadows or your brightness yeah. of things and right. how, how it actually reflects off the glass or the plexiglass, whatever. Right. Cause I know that'll filter. Sometimes that filters that light a little bit and, mm once again doing testing test 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 so yep. and for those that build gadget caches really good way to test them take them to an event local event, oh yeah that's and good let yeah. Them, hey here's this new gadget try it out because when you're building a cache a lot of times i i have a hard time figuring out how difficult is it actually is it because i'm the one that came up with it it sure be easy for me but what would the normal cashier think how difficult it is take it to an event let them try it out and Good see idea. how it is. And then you also can sit back and say, well, I didn't think about doing it that way. And, oh, wow, you're going to break it if you do it like that. I got to prepare, <laughs> fix that and go right. ahead and think about a different way. So you have a test group and and it's really cool. We had that with the Cash Carnival just recently. I took the cash, my big white cash, which is going to be called uh, Maglite, to there and let them right. test it and found out all right, I'm shorting something out here. The battery's getting really hot. I got to go re rewire all this real quick to, so it doesn't do that next time. So right. just testing it. 
Yeah, that was something Electric Waterboy mentioned in the 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 I noticed in the chat. He mentioned he goes, "Yeah, you've you've come up with five different ways that it can work, and somebody will come up with five different ways to break." Right. It, so. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because they don't <laughs> or, read the cash page. Yeah, or they <laughs> they're they're in a hurry and they don't want to do it right, so they'd rather destroy your cash. But that's for another show. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's, for, that's, for, that's another- for another show. You know, that's but it, but it is true. That's very true. Um, all right. So the next one is, and you need to do some checking on this one. I tried to find the cash, a really good cash description for this. And right. I couldn't quite find one, but we'll explain it. And I know that uh, people will understand, but because you can do it a couple different ways. Again, make it simple to start with. Don't make it too, too complex to begin with. Um, right. Otherwise, you're going to be frustrating yourself. But right. it's co- it's the monkey puzzle. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we found one of these recently, uh, our little group, the Motley Cashing Crew. And um, it's a big – the one we found was fairly good-sized PVC pipe. It's got a lock on it. And uh, obviously, it's solid. So they built it. They, this one was built well, and I think right. you want to build. You want to build them pretty solid, but um, <clears throat> you couldn't. It was locked. Where's the key? The key's inside, and so you, <laughs> and you have to move without seeing it. You got to listen for it. You got to sort of jiggle this thing around, right? Uh, and you can kind of start to hear the key as it bounces through this. It has a Basically, what this one was very simple, but it had a side pipe. Okay. And so what you had to do is you just had to line it up and, and sort of work it so that you could hear the that the because uh, the, basically the um, the top part. Think of it like a like my cup here. The top part is solid inside, right. but it has a hole. So okay. you kind of have to shake it around, and the, and the key will will bounce around. Eventually, it'll go through that okay. first part of the hole, and then it'll go down to the next part, and then there'll be a hole down in there. And so the way they did it was they had it um, where it had a side thing, so you had to hold it sideways. Right. Which was pretty, that part was simple because the side one, you just had to get it right, and then it, you could hear it kind of roll through there. And when you get to the bottom part, you sort of rattled it enough and it would come out the bottom and then you take the key and you could open up the, the lock. So um, now there's a hole in it that goes into the other part of the PVC pipe. So what they did is they housed the whole thing in a container in another container just to keep it right. a little more or less out of the weather. Right. And that, and I've seen those where, like I have a cryptex and I that was yeah. in a video recently. And I was I put it in the box one for two reasons. One, it looks like a pipe bomb. Um, right. When it's actually want... out. And I didn't want that. Yeah. Two, yeah. I didn't want it to walk away. So it's actually secured in there because I didn't want it to be stolen. But Smart. like the one that you're talking about, there I've seen an actual puzzle with like a marble to actually get into it. And you had to oh. turn it. And okay. so I know the concept of that. I mean, that's I have little puzzles around me all over the place. And here's like one. Oh, and this is basically. Um, you have that one? I do. You mean like this one right here? Like this one? Yeah, this one exactly. <laughs> that one, this one. Yeah, yep. I got this for Christmas. My my <laughs> my mother in law gave me that for Christmas, and I had it apart in about twenty minutes. But, oh um, man, you're good. <laughs> so this is a then, tough one. This it was one's not easy. But I no, this, this stupid right. thing. You can hear I got it. this one apart, and I'm having issues getting that one back together. It's it was, oh my. I've gotten it actually. One of my sons got it apart this last time, and I told him if you get it apart, you got to put it back together. That one. Oh, Try, buy you this one. Okay. Talk about this one. I'm showing this is another one. Are they Katayama or yeah, yeah, Katayama puzzles? But this one, I left it open so I could. But it, it it's a it, it it you just have to get it just right, and the it'll, the the star portion of the puzzle will come out of the the box. But let wow. me tell you, it is a booger. This yeah. Is, this this that, one, the, both of these are a lot of fun, but they're, they can, they kind of, 
they'll, they'll I can do that you. one with one hand now. <laughs> this one? Yeah. The, the north, south, east, west one? Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's a cool one, but. Man, and, there, and I've seen a way that you can actually create. Oh yeah, you can use that. It, use the way the locking mechanism. You can just do that. I I've used to have. Uh -huh. um, it's called, and these are things when I'm actually thinking of gadget caches. Like, okay, that's really cool. How can I maybe incorporate that yeah. into something? Um, I saw somebody recently did one with. Uh, it's called. Um, Going complex, but I got one here. I'm yeah, that one's. I had to throw it away because the actual bottle actually shattered, but it was, it's called, um, Oh, what was it? Cigar. It was, um, it was a Grecian one, but it was a, it was a stick through, um, uh, like a whiskey bottle. Okay. And then it had a bolt, oh. a, a cotter pin and a little yep. ball. Okay. And I saw somebody instead of having the ball, they put a, a nano in there. Right. And, and they had, though that's, we had to open that up to get into that. And I mean, the hardest part of that whole whole puzzle isn't getting it apart. It's putting it everything back into the bottle and getting it back together. <laughs> right. That's the puzzle. Not not getting it out, but the puzzle's getting it all back together. Right. Right. This is one I saw, and um, there's a guy on uh, that does YouTube videos where he does he talks about toys. Right. Uh, they're all types of little toys. I forget his name, but he's a he's a wonderful gentleman. He talks about going to New York Toy Fair and. Talks about different toys. Well, he had this one, and it was perfect for a puzzle cast, so I made it. Uh, but it is – it's one of those that we talked about where making it maybe – and I didn't put it out. I took it to events. So, right. for example, like you said, Derek's perfect. Take him to an event, let him try it, or maybe it isn't – maybe ever designed to be out in the wild. But right. this is the one I created real quick. I'll show you. Um so it's a box, right. standard box. Um, it's got a lid. Right. I'm showing right now. So there's the lid. And it's got, I have this little uh, egg timer. Okay. And so, um, let's see if I can show the, so you hook it on to the little, I have a little. Um, right. You got the bolt. The nut, nut. Right. Yeah. With the thing in there. And what you do is, is that when you, it's a little tricky because you got to make it just right because um, it's got to be able to to Balance. rock back and forth. Okay. Yeah, and so when you rock it when it's in there and you and you have the and you hold the box long enough so that the the sand comes out of the right. So the sand all goes to one end of it. It'll weight it'll weight it down and the hook will come down. And it'll be out of the way. If it's weighted the other way, the hook is in the way. And it hooks onto the little that little lip it'll, there. Yeah, it'll catch the lip of the of right. the box, and so it'll it'll catch right there, and it'll hold it'll hold right in place like that. So when you're trying to open it, it it won't open the front the box until you turn the whole box over and wait. You gotta wait for the sand and the the top of it to all right. And of course, you don't know how long you have to wait. No, you don't. You don't even. Well, and if you, you don't, don't even give, know if you're doing it right, right. If you give if you give right info, you you might. You know, I put a. Uh, the way I kind of did it was I, I explained and I gave him a little cryptic hint about the. Cause I put the geocaching symbol on right. it. Yep. So I mentioned something about the geocaching symbol being up, and and I forget how I worded it, but right. And so you have to. And so I was hoping they would realize. Oh, if I. If I put the geocaching symbol up, it'll it'll drain the sand in the egg timer and then periodically try. Anyway, it didn't quite work out as a as a as a uh, uh, an actual cache that I put out. I did take it to an event for the fun right. of it. Of course, now I'm thinking, how can I put that in a box? So right, right to get into the log, and because I was like, it would have to be like in a swivel, so it actually sit out, and you can turn it. It'd be like yeah. a box inside of a box, almost like a one of those Russian doll box. Yeah, like, doll things. But I love the idea of this egg timer thing because that very is simple. cool. And very I mean, it's not, you know, there's no electronics. No, nope. and that's something I was going for. Was and this is something for people to think about is kind of think think a little bit about about these kind of things or watch videos about 
puzzles and right. Watch watch the guy on. I'll I'll find a link and put it in the show notes. But he he does. He talks about different. He talks about all kinds of toys. But right. He showed he. There's a toy. I can't I can't find it. You can't buy it. But he had a toy that was made with the little egg timer. And it was made of um, some kind of plastic, but right. it was made perfectly. And I tried to make it. You know, according it came about a little crudely, but I like this idea because it's a cool idea. And my, my <laughs> I'm thinking about it now. I mean, right. that's you find something, and what I do, I find something like, all right. So let's we talked about it earlier. One of these fence latches, right? How many different ways can you find out how to open this up? <laughs> right. Right. And how can I put it in there? I mean, which direction does it need to be? I have uh -huh. one. Um, I know we're going to talk about that. Oh, actually, we'll go ahead. If we don't mind, we'll go ahead and talk. Yeah, about let's that go into uh, one of mine. It's called to to every one. season. Yeah. Uh, let, me, let me give the GC. Can we give the GC? Yep. GC code okay. is you, you want to give it since you have your. Yeah, I've got my little my cheat sheet here. So. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about um, To Every Season, which is GC7, Water, Nature, um, Puzzle. Huh, that's funny. Puzzle Query. <laughs> GC7, Water, Nature, Puzzle Query. It's called To Every Season. All right. right. Sorry. Go ahead, Go ahead, Dirk. So what that one is, and it kind of, to every season, of course, we all know to every season, turn, turn, turn. So... And it kind of fits the location because it's one of my friends' uh, lots. And that's one thing that I do when my gadget caches. I put them out on friends' lots where they're going to be – people are going to be there off and on. And, of course, you have to worry about muggles. But at the same time, they don't get vandalized as often. Um, and right. here in South Carolina, it's actually really hard to put caches out in a lot of different places. There's a lot of places you can't put them. I mean, there sure. are no guardrail posts. You can't put them at cemeteries. You can't do a lot of different stuff. Right. So by putting them at the businesses, I'm, I'm pretty cool with it. Yeah. But what I've done, um, and I have a video of this one when I actually had to fix it because I originally had Allen keys and in, into it and the and JB welded and the, they kept pulling the keys out um, and I kept going mm -hmm. back in and fixing the keys. I'm like, all right, this is not working. I got to come up with a better way of doing this. And so I ended up going with bolts and just drilling a hole in there to be able to attach the, sure the line makes sense but mm -hmm. but the bottom actually is what drops out on this so one of those bolts you go and find one of the bolts and you start turning it right and there's a line that's attached to the latch and it lifts it up and drops the bottom out of uh, it okay gotcha and you got to turn it quite a bit because it, there's it's an elastic line so you got it's, it's turn stretch. it turn turn, think, turn 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 <laughs> and there's some others in there that are red herrings you may turn one and one other one of the other bolts starts turning and it's like what's going on oh, here right <laughs> so there's a lot of different things some of them just free spin and so there's just a lot of different things that happen and love it and every one of those bolts has a hole in it so if i ever need to go back in and fix it i can actually change to what what bolt it is because i've had somebody after i guess they spent 20 30 45 minutes whatever and when they got done with they circled the bolt that it actually was and it's like oh you're kidding me so uh, i went back out with spray paint and spray painted we spray painted the whole thing again oh my but just field maintenance if you're doing a gadget think of field maintenance um then also another idea and I know West Virginia Tim has done this one where you can use a credit card to open it yeah, up. Right. Makes it um, cool. Makes it cool. Let's see. I, li I like ahead. those. I was going to say real quick. Sorry to interrupt. But what, what I like about that is there's no electronics. Nope. And, I'm, and we're, I'm not saying electronic ones are, are bad or evil. But again, let's start with these because again, there's no, there's no wiring. There's no soldering. There's no Arduino. There's no, not that there's anything wrong with those. We love them, but I think we need to also embrace the right. simple geocache. So um, you want to well, talk about even, even, even before that, even another simple one. And we've seen it's a birdhouse and a birdhouse inside of a birdhouse. And the perch is actually holding. Yeah. So you just pull the perch out and it drops. There's a gadget. Oh. There's a gadget. There's a gadget. And buy two bird houses, one a little bit bigger than the other, and put it inside. I mean, yeah. 
Perfect. But yeah, another one that I you can do with this is, and this is another West Virginia Tim, and I've actually solved this, and it, it's kind of funny because it looks like you're kissing the cash when you actually do it. Uh huh. Is where you actually use a balloon. Oh yeah. And it and it lifts the latch up to open it up. Right. Right. So that's that's another one. I have a I think on my Instagram there's a picture of me actually doing one. It looks like I'm get doing mouth to mouth to a cash. So hey, whatever, but whatever it takes. <laughs> whatever it takes. I really like that cash. Um right. So that was we, just... <laughs> we become good friends since. <laughs> but that's that's another one of just like I said, different ways to open this up and right. to get into the door. I have another one where it's called um pick sticks and I, we'll put i'll put the gc code in there later oh that's another wanna... one of these but using one of these but it's you have to use a combination of different ways to different perches but you actually end up pulling one of the perches and it's attached by a spring and it opens it up and you yep. it opens the door one of the things i like about these is that you don't have to have locks right and so it's you don't have that type of mechanism that you have to worry about either. Yeah. Um, Tim Tennant found it uh, in helping us out in the chat room. But it's, yeah, it's Grand Illusions. Okay. Um, it's a guy named, um, I think his name is Tim. Tim, the, he's a, the, um, but yeah, it's Grand Illusions. He goes to a lot of, like I said, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> very cool. Um, yep. Jinx, her, he mentioned about the credit card. I love the credit card one because it's kind of fun because people kind of bring their own tot even though they realize they right. don't. They don't realize they brought their own tot, you know. Right. So I like that. Um, so um, tell folks about uh, ship in a bottle and it's GC forty seven Jasmer Zone Multi. Even okay. though it's not a multi cash, it's just Jasmer so, Jasmer. Right zone multi is the jzm go ahead so this is i have another video of this one this is one that was actually out in arizona and it's been duplicated several times and actually i made a version of it in the last couple of days and i think i might have figured out where i can put this one but we talked about like an lpc or a park and grab to make it a little bit more interesting right this would do it as you can see you see the you think you see or yep. you do see the bison tube there However, it's a, right. It's in a PVC pipe for those who are just listening, pipe, but yep. you see different ways and you've got to figure out how to get it out. Well, your tool is already provided for you. So one of the nails actually comes out. So you'll have people sitting here trying to get this out or right. trying to do different things, but that's not the solution. The actual solution of it is that you, there's actually a decoy. Oh, and it actually drops out. The hardest uh. part of this one, Mm -hmm. was finding the stupid magnet that would actually <laughs> cuz it's just it. held it's just, just held, held up, up there. In there just enough just enough so you can't see it right now by talking to John and John uh the Kodo dogs is the actual one that created this and yeah, uh, I love his it. only thing is if you if you copy it he would like you to send him your GC code so he gets to follow it as well cuz okay, he just cool. really likes following those yeah um, What's, like I said his, his, his Dakota dogs is his is um, it, his uh, GC name is Dakota Dogs? Okay. Yeah, his geocache is Dakota Dogs, and cool. Dogs is not spelled. It's D A W G S or okay. G G Z or something like that. I have to, well, I'll get it in the show notes. Okay. But I know somebody copied it up in Michigan, and it got Geocache of the Year. Wow. So, that's, for so I mean, year. that's cool. Super simple. It's a nail, some yeah. screws, and you can and two bison tubes. Yeah. And, and, and there's just I, enough. I, there's just enough where you can see the one. Right. <laughs> so you're thinking, how the and, heck am I gonna get and, this out of here? Like I said, it's just hidden up in there, and you don't really see it. And right. it's like, well, how do I get that out there? Well, I love it. You have your nail; it's already provided yep. for you. Just enough to to pull it out. Yep. You get that one out of there. Yep. Wow, so that really is cool. cool. I, I mean, I think it's like I said, it's really simple, and it's one of those ideas. Just kind of thinking outside of the ammo can, and it's another way of doing a really quick park and grab. Yeah, no, it's, it's genius because I would be going crazy trying to figure out how to get that first bison tube out because it's <laughs> right. it's in there and you can see it. You're like, how 
am I going to get this thing out of here? Well, he, he was telling me a story. And I, he was like, one guy completely took it completely off. Oh. The, it was actually on a telephone pole. Took it completely yeah. off. Got this one. Never did find the one down here. Took the, it completely the real off. One. Took right. it off and says, there's no log. <laughs> there's not the, right he's like you he didn't get the right one <laughs> i think i'd even put a note in it and go you have broken this cash <laughs> please contact you have broken me now it. yeah <laughs> this is not the cash this is not it and you have now broken it and you're gonna need to call me yeah leave your phone number and say because i now i gotta fix this so, yeah please man. message me it's not going to be archived it's these maintenance Yes, it needs to be fixed because and, you just broke the cash. I mean, so you're probably looking at maybe, I mean, I got these bison tubes. I got 14 of them for like oh yeah, nine bucks. Yeah. Yep. So you're, this whole total, the price of this cash is maybe $5, $6. Yeah, exactly. So not bad at all. Not bad Perfect. at all. I love it. I love it. Um, Okay, um, we're going to talk one more, and we'll okay. get into some other, other info, but you've actually got part of one of your caches you're going to bring out and show us uh, right. called called Maglite, right? Now, right. Now, this, if you've watched my video, uh, when I actually created I actually have a whole video of how I created this, but I never really showed this part of it. The inside of it. The inside of how this actually works and i've had several people ask me well how is how does it actually work the mechanism there's no this part of it there's nothing to it it actually you have to re requires a magnet and yeah. you find the place yeah. where it pulls and it pulls out and it literally drops i don't know if you saw the line drop but it literally will drop the actual code to actually get into it and okay. all it is is a magnetic rod steel rod in this pipe here it goes into here right and the way i did it measured and it actually will not come out i actually put a, oh, okay. a stopper put in a here stopper so, it, in it. so it won't come out and it doesn't actually come all the way out of the this pipe here itself it goes to there's a hole there it feeds into the hole but it just enough that it doesn't so you don't have to worry about the uh realigning of it every time and then okay, just cool. to rearm it you literally just pull it back up right to where it'll latch and you just close it up and it's ready for the next cashier to come in oh okay so it's so, right it just yeah, it's sits just on top of it right and it just looks like a simple little nail pop yeah and with things out there i mean there's probably some others and i all my different screws in here um there's different places that the magnet actually hits is like red herrings just where right. different attachments are so that all kind of works there as well so this but you could do this. This is just the door to get into the other part of it. Yeah. There's a bat. You have to bring a battery and LCD LEDs, um, lights in there and everything. Right. But this right here, just put a backing here. This would be a really cool cache where it drops and you have a bison tube right underneath it. Yeah, I love it. Just now, something really simple. When you do reset that one, Derek. Right. How do you how do you keep people from ripping it all the way out of the top? Is there a it's, okay, you left it. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, there's enough there that it, it'll actually latch in there. Okay, so it won't come all the way out. No. Okay. No, no perfect. and it's yeah, and it's it's bolted here okay. as well. Cool. So and yeah, then when I built the other things. <laughs> right, you do, you do. Um and when I built the other part of it, my concern was is there anything in here that this line's gonna get attached Caught. to that will yeah. drop? So there's enough space in there that it, it'll drop straight through cool yeah i love it love it uh okay um uh, let's see anything uh, uh we'll give the oh jinxer yeah it's like wish my brain worked that way uh <laughs> real simple real simple derek says i know i agree <laughs> um but maybe you know maybe don't go again we kind of dabbled in the more complex right right that's a little more complex and so but maybe maybe step back a little bit and think about go back to the some of the first ones we mentioned and just say oh that makes sense i mean use yeah there you go yeah <laughs> go back to yeah you don't have to build you don't have to make you know you don't have to 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 make the uh 
Right. Uh, measuring tape. You just have to go buy a measuring tape. So you don't have to make the bison tube. You just buy the bison tube. Buy the bison tube. <laughs> but um, I know, and she, you know, it brings up a good point. I wish my brain worked that way. And I'm thinking that I think that people's brains in many ways do work that way. I think sometimes we don't stop and maybe think about something that and we're getting kind of uh, out on the metaphysical side of things, I guess, but um, uh, I th in the science of brain, uh, the brain works, but I think that there's, I think it's just a matter of stepping back and thinking about what you like about a certain, it has to be a fancy gadget. I mean, um, we didn't talk about, um, oh, bounce, bounce, management. One of the yeah, easiest, 50 keys. One of the 50 keys, right. Ne I, I've seen that, and I actually had an idea of doing that a long time ago, have a multi kind of set up that way. But um, bounce, bounce, got, has, bounce, bounce has an ammo can, and Patience. then inside has a lock in there. Right. And then there's a ring of keys that's attached to it. Yeah. And have 50 keys and you got to figure out what key actually opens up the lock. I mean, there's a, yep. once again, that's another simple, great, um, gadget cash. Patient. It's a patient's cash. Right. James just <laughs> so, said, can you have one marked with a UV marker? <laughs> right. <laughs> that would probably one make it key a, marked with the, yeah, there you go. That's that'd that, be a well, great idea, but you don't tell them that you could use the UV light. I mean, that's, right. that's a great way for um, the cash owner to come back. Like, Okay, it's still there. Good. Yeah, we're good. To yeah, go. we're good. yeah <laughs> quick, quick cash maintenance. Yep, we're good. Uh, yeah. Um, so we, we talked about before the show, we, we, we were kind of, we weren't going to get into a lot of patients caches. There's a whole, that's a whole realm that's kind of cool to talk about someday as, the, as a patient's cache, you know, <laughs> um, how to, how to get one open. Or, I, I have a friend who has, He's got the huge, the huge, um, we've all seen them. They're like a um, storage container, plastic right. storage right. container. Yeah. You, and you pop it open and there's a, <laughs> it seems like there's a billion uh, of the little uh, film canisters in it. Oh, I don't, no. He told me the story <laughs> about, yeah, he's like, hey, I've. I didn't know you could do this, but you could buy like a thousand film canisters on the internet. They're pretty cheap that way. It's like, oh, Don, don't tell me you did it. He goes, yep, yep. So, and so he even uh, mentions to people if they want to take one film canister with them, I'd take them all. Just to, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> if you want to take one with you because you don't have one, yeah, needle in a haystack. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Je Jeff's right. And, some people love them. Some people, though, you're going to really frustrate them. They get really mad because right. I think we've all seen them where you would open up a film canister and you're like, oh, there's a log in here. And you read it and it goes, nope, that's not it. Oh, no. You're like, yeah. oh, no, darn you. We can't do this all night. You know? Yeah. So. I was at an event and somebody was telling me about one. It was actually out on this guy's porch and they were there for seven hours working on one cache. It yeah. Was, yeah. It was, it was multi stage all in one location. Right. And the guy would come out and give you, bring, Hey, you need anything to drink and bring out broader yeah. and just sit there and come <laughs> back and forth and let you keep working on it. Let's keep going. Yeah. Bounce bounce mentions about the, uh, you can make it. So the keys have different numbers and the hint was the key number. And right. And it's a cool, you know, th there's a lot of variation on theme as it were, but, uh, right. so almost one kind of similar to that. And I was, when I was shooting a video, uh, yesterday we talked about this one. I guess there used to be one somewhere. It had, it was a, uh, a bucket ran up in a tree yeah, with a bunch of ping pong balls in there that actually you had to put, had like a couple of the numbers on the ping pong balls. We had to bring oh, all those no. and dump those out and you had to find the numbers, oh, from the ping pong go balls, through all the numbers, go through all the numbers to find the actual oh. code and put it back up. Oh my gosh. Oh, all right. All right. Well, we're going to, we're going to, we're going <laughs> to, people are going to, we're going to drive them crazy on the patient's caches. So don't, don't think about patient's caches. Do that later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go buy a tape measure and a bison tube. Buy a tape measure and a bison tube. Just do that. <laughs> yeah. We're going to drive them crazy if we get off on the, on different tangents. So, all right. Um, so,
let's 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 wrap up um so um what i want to mention a couple things uh all right i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you finish let's final thoughts um so let's let me do my final thoughts and then i'm gonna get your i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna get your final thoughts and also have you mention about uh your channel so i'll start and then i'll let you kind of wrap up and then i'll do upcoming shows and stuff so um so kind of something i've talked about pretty much all night and and that is i want I want us to start with, and I think we've mentioned several <laughs> when we didn't get off on tangents of other stuff. I think we've mentioned several that are doable. Right. I mean, I, I, I think that there are several that uh, any geocacher and uh, hopefully all geocachers will make. Ones that we've, that we've, we talked about. I mean, the tape measure, the water pipe. You know, the the one that I, I love, the Safari Adventure with WV Tim, where you just find little toys or whatever it is. You can make it whatever you want. Hide um, letters or you could do, do it numbers, but you hide numbers or letters in the area. make Give people an extra thing that they got to hunt for. And when they find them, I tell you, it, it's it. Really, it makes that cache to me very rewarding. Uh, Susan and I did one like that, and let me tell you, it was tough. And we were we were we were in uh, Kerrville, and um, in Kerrville, Texas. And uh, oh my gosh, we we had to talk. We had to call the CO because we're like, help! We cannot find. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like we struggled, but we we got through it. But the we found most of them on our own. And when you find one, you're like, yes, I, f- I found the crocodile, you know, you're, yep, yep. you're, you're hollering from across the, you know, from, you know, uh, 50 yards away. It wasn't that far. It was more like 25, 30 yards away though. Cause they had, a, she had a really spread out. And so Susan and I were spread out and I'm like, yes, I found it. So, you know, you haven't even got to the cash yet and you're just fired up because you found this one letter. But the fun, <laughs> the fun of searching for that was just, was something really different. So anyway, right. so my final thoughts are just that, you know, think about these kind of things, uh, take these ideas and tweak them right. for your own use. And, um, you know, it, it kind of, and, and don't feel, never feel, um, like never feel like it's going to fail because, um, you really can't, there's no way to really fail. I mean, no. forget what people say. Um, if they come out and they struggle, okay, they struggled. So what? I mean, it's a geocache. If they, if they can't get it open, hopefully they didn't break it um they'll live i mean so what i think we've all been to a cache that didn't quite work right or was missing and and we all went to bed that night and woke up fine so i mean yeah you know so anyway that's my final thoughts so give me give us your final thoughts and some information too please all right so here the reason why i started doing a lot of different gadget caches was because we didn't have them in here and i'm sure there's a ton of areas that don't have really a lot of gadget caches and the first few that i found i was like holy cow these are really cool and i just like i wish more people would put these out so started doing it and like i said the tape measure is probably one of the simplest gadget ones that you could do versus the and the water pipe those are just really great to do so just start small don't overthink it that's the biggest thing we all have an issue of overthinking it um like us us cachers, when we're looking for a geocache, we're looking on the ground. Well, guess what? Throw it up in the air. Right. Up, up, up high level or higher. Just change it up. So and that's just what I would say. Just get be creative. Think outside the ammo can and do it and just come up with something. Uh, it may work. It may not. It may get favorite points. It may not. I have caches out there that don't have favorite points. I'm sure. still happy with it, too. So that's it's just a lot of fun and just get out there and try something. I mean, yep. you, you'll never know until you try. No, I agree. So I agree. So a little bit about my channel, um, Derek. My cash name is Baker Six Clan, and my channel is called Behind the Cash. And I don't typically go out and just find the caches and and move on. I like finding the story 
behind the cache. So I talk to the cache owner and find out why did you put it here? How did you do this? And just get the story from them and hear from the cache owner. Um, I look for very high favor to point caches because um, I those are the ones that make me smile. Those are the numbers I care about. I'm, I don't have found a lot of caches. So if you go to my cache page, it's like, wow, you have only found less. I've actually, I'm under less, as at this point, I'm under 500. I'm almost at 500, but I look for the story, the location, and different aspects of it. And you'll see that in my on my vlog, is I'm looking for the story in the cool locations to right. bring people there and to um, feature cache owners give them a little bit of some props and say, Hey, this is really cool. Let's see if we can get some more people to your cash right. kind of thing. That's what I've always looked for. And that's just, that's what I do. That's what I love hearing the story of the caches from the different, from the cash owners themselves. Excellent. Yes. Um, so really best way you think is uh, go to YouTube and, go, yeah, and just go put to it YouTube, behind, behind, the, behind cash. the cash. All one word, face, all one word, um, okay. Facebook behind the cash, Instagram behind the cash. Okay, Twitter cool. behind the cash, whatever backslash behind the cash. You can find me any way that way. Excellent. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, well, Derek, thank you so much. Thank for you joining for having me, me on here. Oh, you bet. Um, <clears throat> I love, um, uh, and I really highly, um, support and encourage people to go check out, um, uh, Derek's page, uh, because it really does. Um, uh, it means a lot to me that you're doing that, that you're, you're looking for a different angle. And I love the angle of talking to the cash owners right. and showing different things. So I really, um, I, I think you've got something really good there, my friend. So thank you. Uh, well, we and the other that. thing, sometimes I may feature one of my caches or if I'm doing a cash build, sure. I'll do that too. Like, um, last week's video, because we're in April autism yeah. awareness, my right. son actually hijacked the show and talked to me about one of my caches that, does some um talks about autism awareness and yeah. he's autistic so it's kind of a good thing for him and he, he's uh he's loved all the comments that he's gotten and all the encouragement oh. it's just been such a blessing and just really cool he's been excited all week because of the different comments and i mean joshua the geocaching vlogger sent some messages to him and he's just like oh my gosh i can't believe it it was just it was, it was just really awesome. awesome watching him how much he was bouncing yeah no, I, 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 um, I, that's wonderful. I applaud you for, um, the way you've, um, you've really, uh, embraced working with your son in his autism and, uh, uh, it's neat to see, um, and I think, um, you know, bringing some awareness to people, uh, that, um, you know, it's, um, it, it, folks that have it, um, you know, there's, there's ways to encourage them and there's, and we all need to, to be uh, aware of it and also find ways yes. to encourage uh, people that have autism. Um, and there's ways to do it. And, and, you know, like you said, um, go out to that, you know, to the, to your, your page and, and watch it. And, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll have a link. Uh, if I get a link to that, let's put yep. that in the show notes and have okay. people go watch it. And, um, and that's the gadget off. cache with the cryptex in it. So that's, okay, that's cool. one that he talks about. Yeah. And we'll, and drop a note to your son. What was your, I forget. What was your son's it's name again? Curtis. Curtis. Okay. Yep. So we'll drop a note, uh, to your son. And I think that's wonderful and looking forward to seeing him. Good to see yes. him here in a, in yep. a, a few, a uh, few weeks. Um, at G Woodstock and see the whole, the whole clan. Uh, yep. so we're the whole, the whole family. So the Baker really six looking clan. That. that's right. <laughs> Baker six clan. Um, all right. So quickly, uh, upcoming shows, um, next week we've got on Jesse Maxwell. Jesse is the reviewer for snag attack. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, our Jesse hid one, uh, and he'll talk about the experience of doing snag attack and how, it's sort of a nice compliment to geocaching and uh, almost all, I think all of them that are involved are geocachers. So I think you'll appreciate the fact that they're not trying to compete. They're trying to make an augmented and a compliment for geocachers. It's like an FTF on a geocoin, if you want to think right. of it that way. Okay. So, yep, we're going to talk about that next week. In two weeks, 
We're going to talk about Jesse uh, Memphis Mafia's challenge book that is completed. We're going to have on good old Jeff, Jeff May, Cash the Line, will be with us. Um, he's going to guest with us on that one. He's also uh, part of the, the newer member of the Geocache Talk Network. Uh, you know, him and Katie joined recently. So we're going to have him on the show. And in three weeks, we're going to have Josh Boggs. I think he lives down your way. Uh, yeah, he's not too far. And in fact, that run that you were going to do in Arkansas, yeah. he sent me a message like a night, like the day before. And I'm like, dude, my wife's out of town. There's no way I can go. I got the kids. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of the kids. But they did They did the, um, the Smoking the Bandit run. Yeah for the, this AR cash thing. And uh, so he's going to tell us about how, uh, you know, he had the eastbound and down and, and uh, rolling all the way to Texarkana, Texas. And uh, I don't think they picked up a whole truck of crew's beer, but I, I they made their way there and back uh, to do this uh, AR cash. So yeah. looking forward to that. That's in three weeks. And so anyway, good fun. Um, so folks who hopefully enjoyed tonight. Um, if, uh, you want to leave us a comment, uh, you can uh, send us a note, uh, geocachetalk at gmail.com. Uh, don't, don't forget to follow us, uh, Geocache Talk, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook is facebook.com forward slash geocache talk. And um, the show can be found on iTunes and Stitcher and Spotify and lots of different places. But uh, also check out the website, Geocache Talk. Dot com and don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you can and ring the little bell notification so you can uh, be reminded of when the show is on and you know tell others about the show that really is what really encourages us as well is to get other people involved um, take a moment after you're listening to this uh, the show and send a note to somebody and say hey check this out I think you I think you might find this of interest. Um, and then also, you know, get involved if you're watching, if you're, if you can, you know, watch live, uh, our chat room is always hopping as usual, uh, like little bunny rabbits on Easter. Uh, <laughs> they were hopping along tonight. They were really yep. great. Yep. Um, and Jesse was Jesse Maxwell. She's in the chat room. She mentioned she can't wait. Yeah. So, uh, we can't wait either. We're excited to, uh, to hear more about that. So, but yeah. Uh, hopefully people didn't uh, aren't be too upset about my little uh, <laughs> my funny joke about Easter. But happy Easter <laughs> to everybody, by the way. I hope you uh, hope you had a good a good Easter. But uh, anyway, so until until next week, don't just talk about geocaching. Do what Derek and I do, and that is go make go a simple one. Just make a simple cache. <laughs> and, right, and then right, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> And then after that, you can go go geocaching. Yep. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.